All stories are 100% true. The names and locations have been changed. If you think you are one of the characters portrayed in this story, then you are probably wrong. Just enjoy the story. Welcome to the G20 Summit. The year is 2009. The G20 is the premier forum for discussing, planning, and monitoring international economic cooperation. This is attended by the leaders of the 20 most powerful countries, including the President of the United States. It's a big deal. It is an honor for a city to be selected to host an event like this. You could compare it to the hosting of a Super Bowl. All businesses take an all-hands-on-deck approach. This story takes place at a front desk of the hotel where I was working at the time. Our hotel had secured a room block for an airline crew from one of the Asian countries attending the summit. This block also included staff from this country. They arrived close to 1 a.m. by bus. We had all the keys made ahead of time to make check-in easy. After everyone had their room assignments, they lined up in the lobby in what seemed to be a nightly ritual for the airline crew. The airline crew bowed to the captain in unison, then the group all went to their individual rooms. It was interesting because I had never seen an airline crew show camaraderie like this before. American crews oftentimes cannot stand each other and go their own separate ways as soon as they arrive to the hotel. At this point the lobby cleared out and the commotion had died down. Myself and the other hotel staff started to wind down getting ready to call it a night. Someone noticed at the front desk there was what looked to be a red travel mug that had foreign writing on it. One of the girls working at the front desk became more and more curious about this item that was left behind. She could not let it go. Maybe it was because this cup was from another culture. Who can say, but she let the curiosity take over and wanted to examine the cup further. Finally, she decided to open the cup. She struggled for five minutes to get the lid off. Finally, the lid gave way. Like a volcano under immense pressure, a plume of dust flew up into the air. It slowly began settling on the front desk area. This was not a coffee cup after all. This was a burial urn. Why would someone bring a burial urn with them to the United States? How could they leave it at the front desk and go to bed? What do we do? We did the only thing we could. Threw on gloves and started scooping the ashes back into the urn. We turned the front desk upside down making sure to not miss any ashes. We quickly resealed the urn and locked it up in the office for the night. We had no idea which guest left it behind so we couldn't call them. The next morning one of the airline crew members came down and claimed the burial urn. He was extremely grateful that we found the urn and secured it until the morning. A few weeks later someone on staff was recalling the incident. Her only comment was, I think we may have only lost a half a tablespoon of ashes. If you enjoyed this story, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.